Hey guys, we'll be back into this new video tutorial with OSP Pro. Now today I'm going to be showing you the actually it's going to be a fast video on how to come up with API using Johnson files. So this is going to be our first database, MySQL database, which we are going to turn into Johnson file. I remember making the previous video on how to turn Johnson file, how to turn PHP MySQL database data file into Johnson. Though there was some kind of error and the page was kind of long and you guys got a little bit confused. So someone comment down on my video and say I need to make another video. So this is going to be the video to substitute the previous video. So guys, if you happen not yet happen to subscribe to my YouTube channel, then I would advise you please make sure you support always keep by subscribing in or you can actually buy for me coffee. Now let's get started without wasting time so that we can find ourselves started. I'm going to be using the Sublime Text Editor and then we're going to be coming up with our files. So I'm just going to create up one simple file here so that we can pick up uh, a data or database stuff so uh, based on that I'm just going to call it YouTube so I had a file called YouTube this one I'm going to select that file which is this very file here so I'm just going to call it YouTube also you get so I'm going to just call it YouTube and um, maybe youtube.php or YouTube uh, I'm just call it John's song YouTube YouTube.php So I'm just giving the name Johnson YouTube.php So if you check it back now on our browser we should have something like this so uh, I'm going to give that then my file then I'm just going to call it uh, uh, YouTube uh, YouTube Going to call to YouTube underscore Johnson like that. So that's how the file is going to be dot PHP. So if you click, let me just check back here on my file, previous file. Let me first pick the same file here and then I just add it, add one as YouTube underscore Johnson dot PHP. What's wrong, man? What's wrong? YouTube YouTube so let me just pick that file very fast so I think it is YouTube which is that and then the file name is called Johnson that sorry I made that mistake sorry for that so but you have now sorted that off so I need to paste that there dot PHP so I think now you can see we are really done with that file now the next thing is to create a Johnson file. Now to make things live simple, the database name which I'm using here is called test and the table name is called student. So the first thing we're going to do is to use, I'm going to use PHP MySQL kind of stuff or I'm going to use my, uh, MySQL I to come up with a DB. So I'm just going to call DB equals to, but before that, sorry, I need to, I need to come up with this. Uh, DB connection and so you guys already know you know how to make this connection so for this video in a simple time i'm just trying to talk about how we can actually generate um jenson file from my square so you guys who may like my video then i just like you guys to you know, support always you know that you know? so let's just do that very fast by creating up a db file so equals to one of us my i underscore query oh sorry underscore connection i'm not going to waste a lot of time i'm going to just go to lock host and I've been making for you guys a lot of this video, so I think you guys will like it. And then the database still, the database I'm going to be using is called test. So that one already is going to be shown success. I don't begin to waste a lot of time here checking whether it's not connected. Uh, if you want, okay, let me just do it for you now. Of course, I know you guys, some of you may be asking me that, no, what, but the thing is maybe not working. So let me show up this. Is, there's no step missed. So this is for... Uh, not success not successful and then here you can actually add else which is going to be uh, equal for us uh, 
a success. So I, I know that's obvious. We are successful because I don't think we are not successful. I think we are successful. I think just like I'm sure we are done now, let's check this part of the fire. If you check that, we are now going to be equating up uh, MySQL plus PHP equals to Johnson. So we are going to create up a Johnson file. Now, the two thing, major thing that I'm going to talk about at the moment is that we are going to be creating up something called uh, Johnson Arrays or what someone may call objects in JavaScript. Okay? Because now if you have to come up with an API, if you have to create an API, we need to be at least be good with JavaScript. Or if you're not good with JavaScript, you should at least be good with XML. I'll also show a video in XML if you guys are maybe interested in my videos. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be talking, at, uh, talking about Johnson for now. Because I think it is most popular, most used, and more French. You can even embed it in your app, either I'm going Apple or any app, whatever app. Now, at the moment, I'm going to go straight with uh, arrays. So, let's see. At the moment, to first pick the data from our MySQL database. So, do that. Let's just create up a simple PHP stuff here. Query, which is Q equals to uh, MySQL I underscore query to pick for us the database connection which is db then i'm just going to be selecting now from that table if you don't remember my friends my table name is called uh, uh, select all from from students if you guys don't remember that if you don't remember let me just mind you guys this is it my table name is called students so it's the table that you are going to make into johnson by doing this we are selecting up everything from there you know the row that if i happen to say a row equals to mysql underscore fresh arrow so uh here i'm putting up this query uh this is a query uh uh now if you check if i happen to come back here and I just simply send it to a row row uh here if i say net this is this one here this one here you get so you can actually pick that data but remember it's not going to be in form of johnson it's not johnson it's just going to be one kind of you know, but that's not what we want we want to be johnson so if you want johnson the first thing is to make this this square of house you now uh picking up uh first of all turning or picking uh let me say turning or making uh array arrays in in what in php so we know that to make array in php we am going to just use data and this data is equal to an array so we're going to create up an array which is an array we shall push it into johnson by using the mysql actually mysql fetch associate to pick for us that given data into a mysql which is going to be johnson later on now for this case around i'm just going to find see my variable data which that is that is equal to what you have defined there is called a row. If you guys look onto that very well, this is a row. So that row is one which is equal to this associate that you are trying to create here. So I just need to get out of out of uh, out of the loop, and then I just need to talk to my page and tell them you know what I want you to produce from now. For this time around, I'm going to first produce an array of Johnson. I know you guys you might have ever used the weather app whatever you have been seeing some arrays that is generated within the page so it's what you're going to actually pick here to get the real data from the database and then push it in the form of johnson in an array format now to do this at the moment i'm just going to create up a simple echo and i'm going to use pre to pick for me that sorry so i'm just going to also going to end that with this so I think that's the case, that's done. So now inside here, I'm just going to also echo up the uh, Johnson underscore code. Johnson underscore code. Whereby here, we are going to tell the data that actually we want that data, that, that piece of data that we want is the one we want to use into our file. Now for this time around, if you just try to come back here and try to refresh this page, we should generate a Johnson file. I think you guys can see. It's a Johnson file, just like you can see. You get it's a Johnson file. 
But now, instead of creating up a JSON file, I just I first want to come up with something called. Uh, uh, let me just pick this. Where here we are going to use the same expression. That one. So that we can come up with it. Instead of coming up with this Johnson file, let's come up with a associate array. Now, this kind of array, this is Johnson array. I think you can see our data. So if you do a check from my previous, this is what we have this one, this two, seven, and this IDs. I think you can see them very well. So that's the data that we have, and this is when the details of the data. And I think you can see if you use a, uh, this kind of uh, format, we can actually pick the array. And I think you can see it's pointing up to those given data and it's picking them. And I hope you can see that we have picked our data. Now, we can also use the same techniques to come up with our, that's for using our array. Now, let's pick it with this array, which in simple terms you can use in JavaScript, something called objects. So, if you just cross check that on the page, that's how the thing looks like. Now, let's just pick a Johnson into the page to pick Johnson to the page I'm just going to use something very simple I'm just going to use Johnson code which in this time around is going to be picking for us that so uh, I think this is going to be fine for this video because if I just refresh this page we should come up with pieces of code which is uh, like this so if you check right now on our page this is the Johnson file we have just created right now onto our page and then this down here is the array that is formed from the same piece of data so that implies in a simple term you can actually create up your own social array you can create up your own johnson array and then you push it and then you pull it into another kind of a platform that might be without the need of the server so you guys that's it for this video if you guys find it interesting make sure you support always by subscribing to my youtube channel if at all maybe you're from uganda and would like maybe to come in and maybe uh, support osp watch my videos or maybe you have been watching and then maybe you've been not getting things or some of what I remember being actually trying to guys tell you or show you online then I'll advise you guys make sure you come to OSP Addictor Solutions where we shall learn these things practical and anybody to understand and even how to come up with an app using MySQL and PHP then use the back end as either Android a platform or Cordova platform or uh, Ognite apps or composer or oh, my friend how about react native how about not yes so you guys i wish you nice time for this video may god bless you wish you nice time stay safe thank you